Can anybody tell me what kind of bird this is? Huh? 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 A toucan! That's right, it's called a toucan. You may know him from that cereal that you, know, you like to eat with the little circles, different colors. You follow your nose. It always knows! That's right, it's like Toucan Sam. It's really cool. He had a really cool colorful beak. I really like these birds. I love the color in the beak. Sometimes they're all like greenish or yellowish with the reddish tint and then sometimes they're like a yellowish orange and have a little black in the front. I mean this, this is just the really awesome, awesome, awesome birds. I really, And then look at the body. See the body? He's mostly all black and has a little bit of white. You see a little bit of white up there by his head and then another because he's kind of twisted. See another down there, another white patch down there. And, and I just thought this was awesome. This shows you the different colors that you can put in his beak. I really like that, okay? Um, they live in trees like this, like a hole in a tree. Now they didn't peck, you think they would have pecked this out like a woodpecker because their beak is so big, but they didn't. Um, they find a hole that's already made and then they kind of get in there and they just get in there and then they live in there. And um, they eat all sorts of things like fruits and bugs and stuff like that. Just really anything they can kind of get their hands on or beak on in this case. You see a little bug right there in his mouth. You see that? Can you see the little bug right there? Yeah, he got a little bug. He's ready to eat. All right, enough of that. We're going to talk more about him while we're actually doing the artwork. Right now, let's go ahead and jump into drawing our own toucan. And I kind of liked uh, this picture a lot. Um, how he's actually sitting on a branch and has little foliage around him. This is going to be our inspiration for our piece today, for our drawing today. So maybe we'll sit that off in the corner like that. Okay. Let's go ahead and draw the branch. The branch. A branch. Drawing a branch is like super easy. Start on one side. Whatever side you want to start with. Before you get to the end, you flare down. Just kind of swoop down. Then we're going to do it again. Start on the side. We don't want to make the branch too thick because we want his uh, claws to be able to go around the branch. And so then once we get about the same spot, we're going to flare up a little bit. And then right in this little area, we're going to put a V. Uh, I say V, it doesn't look like a V right there, but if you turn it this way, it looks like the letter V, doesn't it? Yeah. So now you have your branch, and that's like the easiest branch ever to draw, okay? Now we're going to start the toucan. First thing, we're going to draw the white patch, and then all these other birds, the white patch was in the front. This is the back view. We're going to draw the front view, and we're going to actually draw a pretty large white patch. We don't want our bird to be... Um, itty bitty teeny weeny okay so don't draw a little bitty patch like that big on your branch we don't want a teeny weeny bird we want a large bird okay that's the patch and it almost look egg shaped doesn't it so we have our egg shaped white spot and then we're going to put a kind of a triangular shape on top now this is where his eyes going to go let's go ahead we're going to draw the shape for his eye of course you know that's going to be the circles now, at this point, since I drew my bird in the middle, I can make my beak go this way, or I can make my beak go that way. It's pretty much up to me. I think I want my beak to go this way, so what I'm going to do is start right where the eye is. So I'm going to draw a light, really light line as far out as I want my beak to go. Start at the top of the triangle for the top of the beak, and I'm just going to go straight at first. And then I'm going to curve it down like that, okay? Very easy stuff. Then I'm going to start at the bottom of the triangle where the triangle touches the um, egg shape. And I'm going to try to go straight at first and then about halfway I'm going to curve, start curving up to meet the point. And now the line that we drew right here is the middle of his beak. I can darken that in for you so you can see that a little bit better. Right? Easy so far, right? I mean, yeah, you already see the bird taking shape, don't you? Okay, start right here at the top of the triangle again, but instead of going this way for the beak, we're going to go the opposite way for his body, okay? The opposite way for his body. We already know what color the body is, right? Yeah, it's black. 
and you go all the way down to the branch just like that real easy stuff so far right now let's start about in the middle of his white chest about in the middle we could start up here let's start in the middle though we'll start in the middle we're gonna come down and touch the branch again okay easy stuff now we're gonna pretend like it goes all the way through the branch we know it doesn't we know the branch is in front and we're going to just kind of curve in and back out curve in and back out and this is what yeah his tail so I'm gonna put a little wavy line almost zigzag line all the way across to connect his tail now let's go ahead and put in his feet now his feet are best drawn with ovals really skinny skinny ovals so you start out one oval that right there is one of his claws Let's do another oval that is his second claw let's do another oval that is his third claw now you repeat the process, skip a space and repeat the process on this side. Now this is why the branch can't be very, very thick because to do the ovals on a very thick branch means that he has very large claws and then if he has very large claws he has to be a really big bird and you don't have um, that much space to make it a really big bird with really big claws. So we kind of drawing everything in proportion. I don't know if that's a new word for you. Draw everything in proportion in relationship to the bird. Can't have large claws to fit around a large branch if he's a small bird. Now can he? Nope, 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 no he can't, no he can't, no he can't. Okay. Now let's go ahead and put some like tree leaf foliage. You can see all the little leaves and stuff. We're gonna do that too. Let's go ahead and put this in this area that's like blank, it's empty. So I'm gonna put like a really big leaf coming from this area. Let's put the little vein in the middle. And then we put other little veins coming off the side of it. Got one right there. Let's put another one over here on this side. Why not? And this one actually is really close to the beak. Look at there. Actually touched the beak a little bit. And we put the veins coming from this one. And maybe one on this side. Maybe, maybe down here somewhere. What do you think? Oh, down here needs one, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. It doesn't have to be so big though. We have one coming about right there. Okay. And that's pretty much it. That's our whole drawing. And that's where we're gonna to stop today, guys. We're gonna use our oil pastels to color it in. But today we wanna to focus on just drawing our toucan bird. You know what this kind of reminds me of? Do you know? Uh, it, it's a movie. It kind of reminds me of a movie. It, do you know the movie? Rio, Rio, all by himself, by himself, Rio. Okay, yeah, I kind of got carried away there, huh? Yeah. Anyway, so that's what we're going to do today. And I would like for you to go and have fun. All right, so as you can see, I, well, let me show you. I added a few more leaves to my, kind of frame the whole thing. And uh, going through, I did the background. I know our, our inspiration piece had uh, a lot of green foliage in the background, but I took some artistic liberties. In the background, I made a sky that's kind of faded from a light blue to a, a uh, dark blue you know you can do that with oil pastels and um, I'm just going through alternating my colors in a pattern with my leaves that I made and then I'll go I do the brown for the branch and you know color in the bird so I just kind of want to give you a heads up on what your piece could look like once you finish 
Let, oh, and, and that happens. It breaks. Don't worry about it. If you're using oil pastels. Anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish up mine. And I am going to show you guys some that's already done through the magic of YouTube here in just, well, for me, it'll be maybe about a week until I got ones that are actually done. Uh, but for you, it'll be here in probably another three seconds. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Here they come. The bird is the word, I say the bird, bird, bird. The bird is the word, I say the bird, bird, bird. The bird is the word, I say the bird, bird, bird. The bird is the word, I say the bird, bird, bird. The bird is the word, I say the bird, bird, bird. The bird is the word, I say the bird, bird, bird. Say the bird, bird, bird. The bird is the word. I say the bird, bird, bird. The bird is the word. I say the bird, bird, bird.